Hello, welcome to Simply Learn Programming. I am Kapil. In this Android tutorial, we will learn Android registration and login with PHP and MySQL database using Wally library. Now, Wally library is an HTTP library which makes Android networking very easy and faster. So, in this example, for registration, we will store name, mail ID and password to MySQL database and then user login and user profile activity in Android. I divided this tutorial into two parts. In the first part, we will learn registration and then we will learn user login and user profile. So, added three empty activities, login activity, registration activity and user profile. First, we will see registration design layout. So, for that, added three plain text widgets, one for name, mail ID and password, then added two button widgets for register and login. Then this is the XML source code for design layout. Now we add Wally library into our project. So for that, in app build.gradle file, add this code. And then click on synchronize now option. Now it is synchronizing and building. Now it is successfully synchronized and also built successfully. Then add in manifest file internet permission. Now we need to install VAMP server on PC. I already installed it on my PC. So to download VAMP server, go on this website vampserver.com. And then according to your operating system, 32 bit or 64 bit download VAMP server. Then after downloading VAMP server, install VAMP server, open VAMP server. VAMP server is open now. And when it this icon of VAMP server is changed to green, then it will run successfully. Then click on VAMP server icon and click on PHP my admin. Now we create database, add a database name, sample db and select utf8 general ci then click on create and our mysql database is created. Click on database name and now we create table. So for create table type table name user underscore detail is our table name and number of fields that we want three fields name mail id and password so type column names in small name then data type var care and its size is 100 that second column name email data type var care and size is 100 and third column name password and data type var care now click on save so our table is created user detail here are three columns name email password now create php script for registration so for that vamp server root drive by default it is installed on c drive i installed on d drive in d drive vamp folder www folder i created this login and registration folder and in this folder i created these three script files in dbcon this is the script for database connection with mysql it is the host address local host address then username database username password is blank and database name is sample db in first single quote there are the variables and these variable pass into connect method then we will see script for registration so we use post method we have three variables that we post name email and password here we pass 
dvcon.php that is database file name then insert statement insert into table name three columns and then these three variables then in echo message successfully registered now back to android studio and on registration.java file edit text class and its variable name mail id password then button class its variables registration and login then find view id method assign for all variables of button and edit text then implemented view on click listener which implement on click method then set on click listener to button variables and now we will see the code for registration so final string variable name username is equal to edit text variable name dot get text dot to string dot trim means the name entered into this plain text that we get and store into username variable then same for second variable final string email then third variable now in next step check the validation if user leave any field blank then it will show the toast notification all fields are compulsory then in else we will do the code of registration first we will add the url so for that string variable name url in capital is equal to in double quote this is our local host url in double quote so for that first we need get local host ip address or my pc ip address so for that type cmd and type ip config to get the ip address of your pc so ipv4 address is 192.168.0.8 so this is my pc ip address so type http colon 192.168.0.8 forward slash folder name login and registration and the registration page name that is save.php so login and registration is the folder name slash save.php this is our php page name and this is the url first is the ip address means local host then next step public static final string name and here we add is equal to a double quote name column name so these column names are similar to mysql database or table column name our first column name is name as it is then second column name is email and third column name is password and in else first we instantiate request queue so request queue is the class and its object name is request queue is is equal to volley dot new request queue new request queue is the method in this method this keyword we pass this keyword semicolon then next now we request a string response from the provided url so for that string request is the class its object name string request is equal to new string request then in the bracket request dot method and method that we use post comma url so url is the variable in this variable the path of the local host comma new response listener and then it implemented on response method then comma and now we add new response error listener and it will implement on error response method i will comment it for request queue that is instantiate the request queue or get response get string response using url so here 
here in toast pass this response variable string response variable and we change this toast dot length underscore long and in on error response method we handle the error so toast copy this and paste volley error variable error dot to string now we add get params method to so type get params here is this method get params press enter and it will automatically implemented this code get params method so map added string copy and paste then variable name params is equal to new hash map string added string in again string comma string and now params is the object name dot put method and in that we put the variable name capital name and the username variable semicolon then similarly we pass param dot put email id and password in first parameter the variable name database column names and second parameter is variables in which we get the text that is entered into plain text then return params object name now next add the request queue or add the request to request queue so i will comment it adding the request to request queue now request queue object name copy this and paste here dot add and in that pass string request object name semicolon now this is the complete code of android registration to my sql now we run the app app is running now first we enter username user then mail id and then click on register button so successfully registered now we will check to my sql database in database click on table name user underscore detail and here it is the record is saved username email and password using android so that's it for this tutorial in second part of this tutorial we will learn user login and user profile if you like this tutorial then please like and subscribe to this channel thank you